Over here, we are going to subtract whole tens and whole hundreds. Remind you of those principles. 78 minus 20. Okay, you remember this, you just think of the tens. The 7 and the 2. 7 tens minus 2 tens. 5 tens, right? And then there's the 8, that does not change. 58. Now here we have the exact same problem, except it has 200. 278 minus 20. So the answer is the same, it just has 200. 258. 652 minus 30. 30 is 3 tens. So over here, you concentrate on the tens digit, 5 tens. And from 5 tens, you take away 3 tens, leaving 2 tens. And these other digits don't change. 6 and 2 tens and 2. 652 minus 300. Now we're going to subtract 3 whole hundreds. So you concentrate on the hundreds digit, 600 minus 300. That's 300, right? And then these don't change. 352. Right, Matthew? Uh-huh, yeah. He's trying to keep tabs on my math in case I make a mistake. Thanks, Matthew.